occasionally you're going to get an animal that just doesn't want to eat. Now with reticulated python babies, I find that these are the perfect size to use a, a product called a Reptilink and this is a mini link. It's basically a ground up food item. It's got a nice little knot on the top that makes it easy to open the animal's mouth. It twists it around, it goes straight down the throat. So this is a really handy tool for force feeding and getting these animals to start. All right, so you're just gonna wanna securely hold it right there in your hand, nice and straight. Use the top knot of the Reptilink. I can kind of pull that lip back a little bit and twist that right in there. Come on, buddy, open up. Oh, he's on to us. There we go. Now make sure you're just going straight down the throat. You're not going down the trachea, which is that breathing tube right there. It would be very bad if you stuffed it in there. Okay, we're gonna go straight down. Now you would normally feed a much smaller meal force feeding than you would if you were going to feed it regularly. I can grab my hemostats. Another nice thing about these reptilinks, they're soft. So I can kind of push in and the hemostats will never touch the sides of the snake's throat. I'm gonna go ahead and just push it down just past where the snake, so the snake can close its mouth. I know you don't like it. You and all my little human children too. Oh, we don't force feed those. <laughs> all right, now if you need help holding them, I'll, I'll a lot of times just put the body between my legs like this. And all I wanna do is make sure that I straighten the neck out and we're just gonna move that down a little bit so the snake gets used to it moving forward and boom. Mm -hmm. 